Hey guys, do you want to learn how to stream Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and various other titles to your YouTube or Twitch channel without that expensive capture card? Well, this is the tutorial that you want to watch. What you're going to do is download a program called KitKat. Now, um, KitKat Slim, KitKat Touch, whatever. Previously, last year to stream Pokemon Sun and Moon, there was a program called KitKat, but for whatever reason that project got abandoned. There were no future updates to be able to make Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon compatible to stream, because it will always freeze on the original KitKat. So what you're going to do is go to this website here, Game in Canada Blogspot. There will be a link in the description, so you guys can just click it and get right to it. You're going to download... The KitKat Slim, KitKat Touch, whatever. I, I I get the names confused. You're going to go to Direct Download, which is right here. Once you have that downloaded, the icon should look... Oh, hey, wait a minute. Didn't mean to make that so big. The icon should look like this. It'll be yellow and say KitKat Touch, or it'll be blue and say KitKat Slim, whatever. You're going to open it, and then you're going to go here. All of the programs that you need in order for this to work will be right here. You're going to download all four folders, and they will, be, they will appear as a zip file. Just do what I did and make a folder for your 3DS streaming where you have all of your icons in the folder. Well, folders in the icon, whatever. Just make sure you have a folder with everything like this that's all right here. What you're going to do, once you have it all in the zip file, instead of this folder here that says NTR Viewer, it will first appear as this, NTR Preview Starter Kit, once you extract it. Of course, be sure to extract everything, don't forget. What you're going to do, you're going to open that. I'm just going to show you what it should look like. I'm not going to extract it, because I already did. You're going to... Right click and you're going to cut or copy whatever and then you're going to put the NTR viewer folder here and then you can get rid of the extracted folder of preview starter kit and your folder will look like this. So we're going to go back to KitKat. The main screen of KitKat where you can connect and everything like that. Now, before you jump the gun and decide to connect, you are going to go to FBI. You're going to go to FBI and download NTR Custom Firmware, uh, well, NTR Selector, Boot, whatever you want to call it. And you're also going to download this program here called Input Proc. So I'm going to show you guys. You're going to go here to FBI. You're going to go down, the first thing you want to do, you want to go to remote install and get your 3DS's IP address. Make sure all of these devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network or unless it won't work. You're going to go to receive URLs over the network. You'll then have your 3DS's IP address. I highly suggest write it down on a piece of paper or put it in your iPhone or Android's notes. You never know when you might need it to reconnect, you know, if you are that type of person to manually keep inputting it, but you really don't have to because it's already going to be there every time you load KitKat, but you know, whatever. It floats your boat if you like it, I love it. So then you're going to go to where it says title database. You're going to let... You're going to let your title database load. It'll take a few seconds depending on your connection. Of course, okay, we're going to wait for it to load. All right, once it loads, you're going to hit the right arrow button three times, and you're going to download Boot NTR Selector. I don't have to do it because I already have it. You're then going to go a little bit further down to where it says Input Proc. You're going to download this here. Of course, I don't have to do it because I already have it. Then you're going to go back to your home screen. You are then going to... In order for this to work moving forward, every time you're ready to stream, you have to first load input proc and you then load boot NTR. It's gonna both of these programs are gonna load itself and then automatically redirect you to the home page. Just be sure to load input proc first and then load boot NTR. So once you do that, 
you're going to hit the X and Y button at the same time. You're going to go down to where it says enable debugger. And you're going to see that it says the debugger has already been enabled. You're then going to hit your back button, B button, whatever you want to call it. And then you are going to proceed and go and load. I'm not going to do it here. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory at this point. You're going to load your save file of Pokemon Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon or whichever one you have. You're going to go, you're going to load your save file, and then you're going to hurry up and press the home button. You're going to see that the internet is going to connect. And once you see that, input your IP address, and then you're going to hit connect. You'll get like a blue or pink flashing screen, and then NTR viewer will load, and you'll see your home screen being mirrored. In order for it to connect and stream, you're going to hit this here and it'll send a patch that disables the online game services so you can record. Once you hit the patch, it'll say this message here, the memory patch has been applied. And then you can load OBS and do it however you want to do it. This is what my thing looks like. This is what mine looks like and it has the um, game capture, whatever. And um, me, you can design that screen however you want, but that pretty much sums up how to do it. Just don't forget every time that you want to do this, you have to load input proc first and then load boot NTR. And then you can go ahead and KitKat and hit connect. And then you're going to hit the patch thing that, you know, and allows you to mirror the connection. Hope this tutorial helped you guys. Hope you liked it. And um, this is kind of like my... Yeah, I think this is my first tutorial, so I'm really not too good at giving a lot of instructions, but I hope you guys got it for the most part. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below, and I'll help you with anything you might have run into some issue with. Keep in mind, this only works for systems that already have custom firmware. My system already has custom firmware because I found this system on eBay. I didn't want to mess up the 3ds i already have i have two systems actually i didn't want to mess up my first one so i looked online and i found a 2ds a new 2ds xl with custom firmware installed so all i had to do was just down you know go to fbi and download ntr and then input proc and all that hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys next time